Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today, Aquarius, for your meditative session, you guys got the Ten of Swords. As you can see, like in the Dreams of Gaia deck, it's different than the normal Ten of Swords. So it's definitely like a much more peaceful <laughs> vibe, right? And I think this to me always seems like someone who's like about to walk through like a portal right someone to or like a jumping off point where someone's about to set out i know aquarius we've been talking a lot about like getting up and going so i feel like this is kind of in that vibe where it's like someone's kind of at the point where they're about to like jump out like they're about to like take that step right it's kind of reminding me of the fool where like the fool is taking a step off the cliff like you know what i mean it's kind of like someone's just kind of setting out and this could just be the energy we're in where we're we're kind of getting bombarded with this energy and it it could be like energetically where you're receiving a lot or at the same time you're about to kind of step off into this new part of your life right so yeah Aquarius that's what I'm getting for your meditative session let's pull some cards and see what we got Aquarius, I have a true pair here with the king and the queen of wands. And I think there has been definitely a stall, a stalling, right? A stalling of what someone should be like, wants to be doing and is actually doing, right? Because I feel like someone, I mean, I think it's this king, the king right here, right? With the seven of coins and the page of cups, this king, I feel like, is really. I think like they would like to put work into something now right like they want to put like that's the vibe with the seven of coins and the page of cups it's like i feel like i feel like this person was a coward at one point and i know it's like a really harsh word to use but the seven of coins story talks about someone who there's like two people and one ha they, like they both have to sacrifice themselves but one of them is unwilling to do it so the one who was able to sacrifice themselves was the one who was given like the fruits of like the reward right and that's what the seven of coins talks about and then this knight of cups story talks about someone who's also like sacrificial and even though like it's a hard thing to do like they rather like help others and sacrifice their time and like their life basically to help others so i feel like there is a time when this person was supposed to be like doing something and they didn't right and i feel like this has to do with love because we have the page of cups and we have the knight of cups right and we have a true pair out here right and we have the ace of cups and we have the ace of wands so i feel like there's definitely someone who there's a stallment right someone stalled and i think it was because they were afraid right we have so many twos we have the two of pentacles we have the two of wands we have the two of swords and we have the two of wands again right and if you're seeing a lot of twos then this reading could be for you because i feel like twos is about like some sort of change in like some sort of like direction that your life is kind of headed towards and like kind of like a new beginning but uh, different than the one right like the two is like about setting out right the two the two of wands is about setting out and i feel like again this person They've had to make a decision about setting out. See, like with the love card, this two of wands comes out and the two of swords comes out. The six of swords, someone's leaving to go towards this queen of wands. And I feel like it has to do with this 
this king like this king wants to show love right and there's been a lot of conflict with this person like so much conflict uh heading out to this person i've never seen so much conflict and like the energy of someone about to do something but doesn't do it right because we have so many twos two two <laughs> two right two of wands two of pentacles two of wands again two of swords uh, it's crazy like they're supposed to set out they're supposed to leave but they haven't done it yet they haven't like gotten there and I think it's towards this queen of wands and again I feel like they're being ushered right remember in the meditative session they had like the ten of swords where they were like you know just looking at the portal but they, they hadn't walked through it yet and I feel like this is it's reminding me a little bit of the scribe and it's reminding me of this two of wands where it's like someone's about to kind of jump off right someone's about to like take that leap right but again, I feel like they're being they're being guided to do it, right? They're being guided with the scribe and the ace of cup. It's like someone is a hundred percent being guided towards the right love for them, right? Towards their like wish fulfillment, towards their heart's desire, towards like emotional fulfillment in this life. They're being guided towards it. But I think it's again, it's like a very difficult thing for this person because we see like all the blockages in this reading, right? We see even here at the end of the reading, we have the five of wands, which is mental conflict. And I feel like this person is a little bit ashamed, to be honest. I feel like it's, an, it's a shame, right? Because with this four of coins and this five of cups, and this Knight of Cups, it's reminding me of someone who's like, these three were reminding me of someone who's in mental conflict over the fact that they were supposed to be, like they, they, they think that they were supposed to do something, right? Like again, there's like a stalling and it's like, I should have done this, I should have done this, but I didn't do it, right? And I feel like it's kind of like a little bit of like, I feel like it's an it's like a shame like I can't believe like I just didn't do it right like I ha I, like I haven't been able to do it like I haven't been able to go like as the knight of cups and be that person that I wanted to be like or be the person that I want to be but I, I would want to say if this is the person like watching it if this is you Aquarius it could be someone you're connected to but if this is you it's like you don't have to be ashamed because like this is all in preparation to teach you something right like this is okay like Sometimes we go through these parts in our lives where it's like really hard, right? And we can feel like, again, I can't believe I did this or like, you know what I mean? Like that happens to everybody, but I feel like the message to you guys is like not to get stuck in this conflict any longer, not to get stuck in this like, I should have, or like, it would have been better if I did this. And it's like causing kind of like a torment to this person, right? If this is you and it's like, you don't have to remain in that energy. You have all like, the makings of something beautiful for your life and i think like they're trying to guide you towards it and it doesn't have to be you don't have to feel like that anymore do you know what i'm saying you can release it like just release it just let it go because like whatever you think that you lost it's still here <laughs> right with this ace of cups and this ace of wands it's like it's still here I think like this person there like this this partner it may not be the same person but there's like a true pair here so if this is something about like reconnecting with someone it's like the person is still here like the person is still I think in this energy I think like yeah you are this is for the person who's like wishing they would have gone right but it's like I don't I don't like I think now is the right time right like you weren't ready before maybe that's why you didn't leave before but it's like you're ready now right like you don't have to look at it as like oh i wasn't ready and i messed up it's like well maybe now you're ready maybe now is the perfect time do you know what i'm saying and i feel like again there's a stallment there's a stalling right with the five of wands and the tower in reverse it's like someone is blocking themselves and i mean i i don't know with themselves because i i get like there could have been interference right with there's so many people here like blocking this person with this two of wands these two women always like look to me like some like somebody kind of tempting somebody like stopping them before they set out and same with this five of wands like there's a lot of heads here right and i feel like it there's like again there might be like a lot of things going on for this person the reason that they're not they haven't moved right or and it's like again maybe the time that you wanted it to be it wasn't the right time and now is like the right time right it's like you don't have to sit in this energy of like regret and like i can't like you know what i'm saying it's like this five of cups energy you don't have to sit in it anymore like you can still go out and do whatever this plan was that you wanted to do 
And again, it's like this, the two aces are coming out for you. It's not like I'm telling you that it's still there for you. It's like the divine is saying that it's still there for you. It's like, it's not me, right? Like this is from the divine. The aces are from the divine. So it's like, they're just letting you know that it's still there. Like if that's what you want, it's still there. And yeah, there was a stalling, right? Yeah, there was like an avoidance. There was something that happened, but it could have been like other people, right? And I think, I don't think those conflicts are here anymore because with the crone and the three of cups in reverse, temperance and the six of wands, I don't think that this, the, the, the three of cups in reverse, I feel like that energy isn't there anymore. Like that, this, or like, like this energy of people like being in the way, I don't think it's there anymore. I think that they're trying to really help you with like this Bodhisattva, they're trying to like, I see this crone as someone who's trying to help you. Sometimes I don't see the crone like positively but today i am right with this crone and the love card i think with the temperance and the six of wands this person is trying to like help you out this person like you are being helped by the divine 100 percent. you're not alone so you don't have to feel alone and with the six of wands it's like confirmation that there will be victory for you again it's like you have to make that decision though like a two of pentacles you have to make that decision you have to like walk through right the portal remember we had the ten of wands and the i mean the ten of swords in the meditative session and it's like that person's looking at the doorway but they haven't gone through yet and it's funny because we have all this energy of like people that are like about to go somewhere right like this person's about to go through the fire this person's just like landed it looks like they just landed right and they're like they just got there right so it's like it doesn't have to be an energy of like regret it could be an energy of okay like now's the right time right now's the right time with the six of swords and the queen of wands i think now's the right time right like you don't have to worry about this old energy anymore like the the confirmation to victory is here right but it's if you decide that this is for you like is this for you it, they're saying it is right <laughs> the scribe is like saying this is for you like this energy is for no one but you, but you have to take it, right? And it's just a really beautiful energy if you decide if you decide that it could be, right? And it's like about kind of getting out of this energy of regret or like a shame, like whatever these energies. I don't want to say the words again. I don't want you to feel it anymore. It's like it's not it's not necessary. Like whatever you had to learn, you've learned. So now it's like time to go get what you desire, right? And with all these cups. And the ace of cups <laughs> and the ten of cups it's like i know i can see what you desire it's just like are you gonna take that chance and get it go for it right so yeah aquarius let's um pull some advice for you So, Aquarius, I love what you guys got. You guys got Badger Spirit number four, be fearless and bold, and Moth Spirit number 39, making a 12. Surrender now. I feel like this is a scribe, right? With the 12 and the 12. It's like surrender to, I feel like it's kind of the tower too in reverse. It's like the, in order to surrender, it might seem to be like you have to be very like fearless, right? Like you have to be bold right now. And it's true, you do, right? To surrender to like what the plan is for you. And this plan for you is beautiful. The plan for you, it has love in it, right? It's a brand new beginning in love. It's a like it's both things interchangeably, right? It's two aces. It's beautiful, but it's like you have to surrender, right? You have to be able to like be like, okay, this is for me. I'm going to let this go because this is for me. I have to go towards what's for me. And this energy isn't for you anymore. This, whatever this like past energy is, it's not for you. You're meant to claim this victory, right? They're bringing you a lot of aid. And yes, it does take being fearless. It does take being like a bold person and like going towards what you're, what you desire, right? And it's crazy because then you guys got Lilith the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. It's like you have to choose this life for yourself. Like it's all here for you, but it's like only when you decide that it is. So for whoever this is, that's like deciding not to set out and like still remaining in like this tower in reverse. It's like you have all this for you. It's just like when you decide that it's there, right? Like the 10 of cups is the happy home, the happy family, everything that you desire, right? It's everything that you want, but it's like only you can go and claim it. 
And there's something about claiming it that's like really specific because with Lilith, it's like she was the one that claimed it, right? Like people could have told her that that wasn't for her and she was like, no, this I know what it is for me, right? And her question to you is like, what would happen if you left everything behind? And like, what is it that prevents you from getting what you want? And like, what is it that prevents you from getting what you desire? Is it, is it like you? So it's like to take so it's like to take a look at like what it is that you desire and like what is it that like stops you from getting to it and if it is you then it's again I feel like it has to do with you and like your mind right with this mental conflict it's like you ha if you can surrender and you can face it or like let it go right like there's for everybody I feel like it's different but there's a lot of red too so I would want to say like these three cards I'm seeing a lot of red maybe this has to do with your root chakra but yeah maybe like a uh, meditation on the root chakra could be helpful because i'm seeing a lot of red but yeah aquarius i really love you guys i hope this resonates and i'll see you guys next time bye